Hey, it's your boy Ken H. Nova Slate, Nova Chronicles. It's your host, this dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. Now we blowing the dust off the mic on this one because we did this before, but we we probably may have a different score now. And I'm gonna break down if I do have a different score. Why? Because I'm a little bit more knowledgeable in the nature chart. But with that being said, he gonna start this one off. I start the cusp off. Sagittarius man meets the Libra woman. He dated Libra woman. Sagittarius man meets the Libra woman. Mm -hmm. Now Sag, he's Different, but not too different than a Capricorn. Mm. He's a little more stubborn, a little more boisterous, and a whole lot more secluded. He'll keep all his feelings, all his desire. He'll pack them up and put them in the, in the back pocket. And he won't pull them out until he feel or she tell him that it's time. Now, this Libra woman, they're like God sin. They're like angels sometimes. They really are some really wonderful people. Some of them. Not all. Not all of anything is good. All of anything good is too much. That That's, look it up. Anyway, so the Libra uh, meets the sad. And it is, it's a little tug of war. Mm. When, they, when they first, because the Libra likes the freedom that Libras have. To come and go and do as they please, to change their taste buds and try new spices, they like that. Mm. They 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 like to seek out new things. Mm. They get bored very easily. Mm. Sags reserve. Mm. Sags are bullheaded, but they're not bulls. They're stubborn. Now. Going forward in this relationship, if this leave has been hurt or abused and made her bitter, you're going to get a different outcome out of this Libra than what I'm telling you right now. So Libra meets this sag. It's all tug and war at first. She finds out he has some interesting qualities. He's consistent. He's kind. And he's going. he has a vision or a plan for itself. She jumps on board. If she's bitter... She won't give him a fair opportunity. If she's bitter, she won't wait around to find out what his opportunity could be. What you got? Man, you know what movie I think about with this? Yeah, what? Oh, this is the opposite what you said, but I okay. see it like picture. I see cruel intentions. I see cruel intentions in one. The Libra, nobody, the, Libra is who? the virgin. The virgin girl who's like, I know what you about. Which virgin? The the girl that he made a bed about and he fell in love with. I'm completely fucked up. What do you say? The blonde. The blonde. Okay. So, Mr. Sag has a game. He's playing the game. Mm -hmm. The game is knock off the version whatever like that. He knocks off the version, but guess what? Now he fell in love. He fell in love. Damn. But the only problem is, that Libra ain't gonna really trust this Sag. And to death do them part. Until he get in a situation so bad that he had to reveal his love. To say, look, I have to sacrifice my cruel intentions because this love is something new I'm playing with. So he's in a ballpark that he's not familiar with. It's a challenge at first. He's playing a sport that he don't know about. Getting the Libra is a challenge that unites his fire from the sad. But the question is, once she takes the virginity of this Libra, not really virginity, virginity, because she probably right, not, right, right. but virginity of the essence of the Libra, because the Libra essence is very pure until somebody deflowers. Deflowers it. Okay. The question is, would Mr. Sag feel like it's worth keeping, or would he feel like it's just a, another chink of his armor that he had added to the flow? But this is cruel intentions all the way. He will be at a playground. Now, maybe she deny him, say, I know everything you're about. Like she said in the movie, but she went back on that and started to trust his sad. She did. And giving that pure gift to him, he fell in love with her, mm. but it was too late. So with that being said, what did you mm. get it? That was a good, man, that's mm. sad all the way, Libra. You know it is, bro. Oh, all the way. If we base it off of cruel intentions, I'm gonna give it two scores tonight. <laughs> if we're basing it off of cruel intentions, this sag, Libra will get together when it's too late. Mm. When it's 
when it's nothing left to express on the table. Mm. I'm gonna have to give it. You can only get one. Put it all together, dog. Give me a good. Give no, me I, got, a good. I, got, I got. I got a two. I got. Give me a good two. one, dog. Come on, that was a good analogy. Break down, bro. Okay, okay, okay. If I'm basing it off of cruel intentions, I'm giving it something. If I'm basing it off of the SAG and the, and the Libra meeting and, and falling for passion and, and, and vision or giving him one, I based off another score. I'm put them together. I'm put them together. So cruel intentions meets helpful flow. It meets somewhere in the middle of one and a half. Mm. One and a half for the simple fact that in cruel intentions, he was playing. He was in uncharted water. Yes, he didn't that understand. Even put you at. He didn't understand where he was going, how far the water was, how deep, how none of that. But if I put you in the realm of she helps bring focus to your life, it gets a one because the cruel intentions will be a two negative. Mm. So it gets a one positive for for the whole thing. What you got? So I wanted to get the negative score because it's, it's a sad playground like always. But the thing about it is that touch. What do you say? She touched him and he had all these women he had knocked off before, but it's something that the Libra possessed, possessed that made him see things different. And she knew he was a bad boy. She knew all the costs and signs around him, but the Libra believes in what? True love. So I had to get this two thumbs up and one down that Mr. Say dies before they figure that out. Well, it's your boy King Nation Nova Slate Nova Chronicles. This your host, this dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. Peace.